Morning, Matt. How are you going? Uh, just so uh, why I hope you're all going well in isolation at the moment. So what myself and Mint have come up with is over the next uh, few weeks we're going to be uploading some skills uh, that we think you should be able to do at home. They're just core skills, boys. So what they are around is obviously going back to when you're you're younger um, and you're practicing all those little core skills. Those, those are the top skills we need to be doing at home. So the first episode is going to be on grip and carry boys. Righto boys, so the first uh, thing we're looking at is our, is, our, is our carry. So when we're focusing on our carry, we're going to make sure that our ball is always in two hands first and foremost, and that we've got as much surface area from our hands contacting the ball. Okay, for example, if I'm going to carry the ball, as much of my hands contact that ball as much as possible, therefore I've got a good balance. So what we need to make sure when we've got our carry, is making sure that we've always got the ball in two hands, so therefore I can pass or I can look up. Okay, if you can see where my carry is too, I'm gripping the ball and it's actually at eye level as well. So the reason why we do this is I can scan to see what's going on around me when I'm carrying the ball. Okay, I'm going to focus on some little drills for you to do at home and focus on actually doing your transition from two hands to one hand. So obviously we've got a groove in our chest here. So when we've got our ball, when we need to go into contact, now we take one hand off, we rotate our wrist and we put our ball in our, uh, in our sternum there. So therefore it's more points of contact, better grip. So what I need you to do is always ball in two hands, ball, practice your fin. Ball out, back in, practice your fin. Okay, that's your first thing I need you to do at home. Our second little uh, skill to do at home in isolation is the same sort of thing, so an add on. So getting the ball to our chest, Getting it out, throwing the ball back around. So ball out two hands, so into one hand, one hand, one hand. Also what you can do is obviously getting it in one hand, throwing the ball down, making sure you've got correct grip. If you drop the ball, okay, make it easier instead of it's around the belly of the ball, you can go further down the ball if you drop the ball. So you can make sure you're doing 10 each side. And then what I want you to do also is 10 each side of re-gripping the ball. So releasing and re-gripping 10 each side. Okay, and then while you do that, you actually do some walking. So you're re the ball, doing some walking. Okay, so make sure you're doing those two drills, in, also in isolation, but also in movement. Righto boys, so the next skill we're going to focus on is, cat, uh, is our catch. So what you'll need to do is get another member of your family to, uh, to, to participate in this with you. Obviously, it's, uh, it's good having that social distancing, that one and a half metres at least, so we can focus on our catch. So in rugby league, it's probably about this distance we want to be focused on our, our short pass catch. So what we're going to look at today is, I'm going to give the ball to Scotty. So our skip is making sure our outside foot is forward, so we're facing down the field, my, my, my uh, shoulders are nice and square. And I'll present my, shirt, my hands as far as close to that ball. If you watch Cooper Cronk and you watch him over and over, he does this every, every time he has the ball. So I get my hands up, okay, and it's a W. So I just pass it back, so I get an early catch. So I'm just practicing 10 inside, I'm catching that ball. So I should see a big W, and it's called the window. When you're a junior, they would see ball through the window. So it's a W with my hands, nice early catch. The reason why we do that, if I'm going to extend it, my catch out there, I take one step and I catch and pass. So what I don't want to be doing is catching the ball on my chest, okay? So therefore I want to get it back out here, take a step, and it slows down the process. If I've got an early catch, I take one step and I can pass on. Okay, so what I need to do is practice 10 in isolation. Just catch the ball with the W, reach for that ball. And then the next phase is obviously taking that one step, okay? So if we just catch here, four, there it is there, okay? Well done. Okay boys, so that's week one down. Hope you enjoyed uh, that, that basic skill. Like I said, make sure you keep practicing at home and stay safe.